Hello YouTubers, Dallas here. Welcome back to the People's Poor Man Road to Glory. Today is a big episode. It is Monday's episodes, and in Monday we have packs, 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 and also full champions gameplay and review of the weekend. Now, somehow I didn't make uh, Elite One on squad battles. I don't get again what happened with the scaling, but it is what it is. We I really wanted the 30k plus the Two rare mega packs, but yeah, we didn't get it. We, we got the mode like literally the last refresh of the leaderboards, which I don't get whatsoever. But yeah, anyway, it is what it is. It would have been good to have elite one rewards, but yeah, what can you do? Anyway, also, we're going to be opening a bunch of two player packs and also a live commentary of two 100k packs that we got from playing foot champs and also. Completing the 500 goals with an 85 rated squad. Now, then we're going to talk about our foot champs week, and it was really, really positive, especially from I don't know the diabolical thing that occurred last weekend, boys. However, our packs weren't the best this week from squad battle rewards. Also, the two 100, the sorry, the two 100k packs you're going to see also aren't the best. And also our two player packs didn't give us anything much. However, let's now get into the two 100k packs boys. And then our review of the weekend league. Another 100k pack. Come on. For 50 foot champion wins. Surely. Walk out. Come on, come, 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 come. German. Cam. German Cam Muller Yuck Oh that's so ice how is your walkout man uh, SBC for that uh, Oh SBC for that is better than last one at least I got a walkout Alright boys a 100 k pack Shorty Anything give us a UCL live player in this 100k pack. This is for scoring the 500 goals with an 85 rated plus team. Walkout, surely. No walkout. No way. What? There's no way that that's what a 100k pack gives you. Um, we got my no, we got master. All right, boys. Now into the weekend league review. How did we go? Well, anything could have been better than last week. That's for sure. And it was. We played some fantastic. FIFA boys, unbelievable things. You're gonna see Mbappe just doing Mbappe type things. Mbappe was ridiculous this week, unbelievably just godlike, fantastic, fantastic performance from Mbappe, and that's what we expect when we're invested so many of our coins into one player so early running a poor man. You expect him to do amazing things, and he's definitely done that now. As you can see, our record, it says 23 and 6. It shows two types of greens, and it shows red. Now, I'm going to tell you why some of the games are lighter green, and some games are the darker green. Now, the darker green are the games that I lost. However, there is no planet that I lose them without two things, momentum and the team press, guys. You're going to see right up now, guys. These screenshots of me slaughtering opponents after opponents after opponents. You're going to see gameplay of me slaughtering opponents. These guys weren't doing anything. Absolutely nothing, guys. Until they turn on Team Press. I was slaughtering them. I was destroying them. And somehow they win. Because of one pure setting. It makes no sense. I destroyed them. We should have been 16. We are. We were 16 and 0. Because if it's fair for EA to put this thing into a game that lets someone who's so bad at best... A silver merchant or at best even gold free 
And if you make him be able to compete with someone who is a Div 1 player, it's just ridiculous. It, it just makes no sense. And if that's fair for EA to do that, and if that's fair for EA to put in momentum, which it's been proven that your players perform uh, less depending on the middle of the game, depending if you're winning, if that's fair for EA to put that into the game, well, it's fair for me to count those games as my win. Because without that, I win. It's as simple as that. So we started off 16-0, and unbelievably well, boys. And we are playing fantastic FIFA. The red games, the games are marked red. The guy was 100% a better FIFA player than me. He beat me fair and square, and that's it. Like, it's as simple as that. The guy was better than me. There's nothing I can do. The only thing I can do is pick up my game during the week, play some more rivals, and just pinpoint where I went wrong against those guys. Because I went nowhere wrong against the games that I was slaughtering people, and then they put on team press, and they somehow get back into the game. I did nothing wrong there. That, that's on EA's part. What I did wrong was the games I lost, when the guy was 100% better than me, and I just couldn't compete with those players. And that's where I need to look at and see why that was the case and how I can improve. Maybe not uh, beat those guys, but be more into the contest of the game. Now, so yeah, that's it. That, that's basically it. We won 23 games this week. It's as simple as that. And from what we did last week, it's a big, big improvement, boys. Massive, massive improvement. And it felt good. Like, look at this goal from Mbappe. The goals I scored, boys, are just fantastic. No little sore rap possession. I was just playing beautiful flair football. Audacious things, boys. And it was just paying off. And it was actually an enjoyable weekend. Yes, those games, that were scripting. But what can you do, man? Like, there's nothing. I can't do anything. You guys can't do anything about it being dynamic um, ratings in the game that your players perform differently depending on the minutes of the game and depending how you're winning. Yeah, I have put coded it in the game that your players perform less depending on if you are leading, so that your opponent has a better chance of catching up. Like that is it's 100% confirmed in the game, and there's nothing you or anyone else can do about it except just saying that what I'm saying today. I've won those games without dynamic. Um, Ratings without team press, I win that game 1000% because there's no way that guy can come back into the game because I'm just slaughtering him. He's done absolutely nothing for 45 minutes. And then dynamic ratings come in, then the team press comes in, and then all of a sudden he's able, because my, my player's ratings have dropped down, he can then catch up. It's basically like a uh, slip screen in uh, racing games. How you can, if you travel behind a car, you can. Um, Zoom up behind them. That's what it is in FIFA. That's basically what it is. And it's just ridiculous. Anyway, boys. That is it. We won 23 games. Big improvement. Now, performance of the team. Let's start from uh, uh, goalkeeper up to our striker position. First of all, Allison, Very, very good. However, I played one Nick Pope. Who, in one of the games, made 13 saves. He had two shots. He wins the game. I kid you not, he had two shots, his Nick Pope had 13 saves, and he wins the game because of Nick Pope. From that, I sold Allison, and then I played Nick Pope for the back end of this weekend league. However, I have to say, Allison is back, but just purely because of that performance of Nick Pope, I'm like, why should I have Allison? However, I have put Allison back because he's my boy. It was just a rage moment type of uh, switch. Then we go to Trent. I think Trent was also very, very good. However, when I do see a negative about him is when I push him up the field and he's out of position. He like, can't, doesn't have the pace to catch up to a, uh, an attacker. And that is a negative of him. One-on-one -on -one battles, very, very good. And he should be. He's 87 rating. On the ball, unbelievable. It's just that when a player gets in behind him, he... It's rarely that he catches up, and that's a negative. It is, it is a negative. We've got Joe Gomez, enough said, just ridiculous, the best centre-back in the game. From uh, coin value, you can't get better than him. He's better than Ryan. He's better than VVD. He's the best centre-back in the game, full stop. Uh, yeah, period. Then we got Lenglet, really good. However, I think his pace, again, he, he doesn't have that catch-up pace that like the likes of Varane does. So, we're going to look into improving him for the next weekend league. 
Jordi Alba was phenomenal. Unbelievably, really, really solid at that left back position. Then we got Gini Wijnaldum and De Jong. They really just ran the midfield. Came up against Kante, Pogba a lot. And they held their own. Uh, really good showing from them too. Much better than having Sissoko in there. Look at this game, boys. You're going to see this game. He has zero shots at half time. I have five. I'm winning 1-0. I lose this game, believe it or not. And that's what I mean. It's just ridiculous. I didn't lose this game. Without dynamic ratings and um, team press, I don't lose this game. It's as simple as that. So, yeah. Uh, so, our midfielders, fantastic. Gelson Martins, I don't know what's happened to him. As soon as I take him off 10 cam, he doesn't perform like how he uh, performed on 10 cam. So, I don't know. We need to look into improving him. Dembele was phenomenal. Unbelievably meta this year. And he did... Uh, get on the score sheet quite often this weekend. Lee. Getting into that box with that um, instruction, he really proved to be a good outlet of attack. Benyera was good. However, I think his pace, it's not enough. It's not enough, boys. We need to look into improving him. His pace just lets him down a bit, boys. Uh, he just can't get in behind. So we need to look into him, and his passing is just... I don't know, his passing is shocking. The guy doesn't want to make a pass. And then we go to Mbappe, best goal card in the game. One of the best cards in the game. Probably, arguably, like, behind the likes of Eusebio and R9, really. And maybe Pushkas. Them three and Mbappe, them four are the best attackers in the game. And Mbappe, boys, go and spend the money. If you do, go and pick yourselves up and Mbappe. He is just actually ridiculous and it's enjoyable to play with a player like him because he's so arcadey it brings you back to like those old retro fifas the way that he can just run through everyone skill move just pace unbelievable to use guys i really do enjoy using mbappe now for the future next weekend league what is going to happen i do have exams next week which mean i probably won't Participate in this weekend league. PS5 also comes out on Thursday. And FIFA doesn't come out on next gen till December 5th. So until then, we'll have to be playing on the PS4. And due to me having exams, me having reduced time or like time allocation to play any games, especially this week and next week, I'm basically just going to be playing Call of Duty. And yeah, so I'm not going to play the weekend league this week. And then we'll be back to weekend league the following week. When my exams are done. And when I can play both Call of Duty and FIFA. Because this weekend, I'm not going to have much time to play. But when I do have a bit of spare time near the late nights. I'm obviously going to be playing the new PlayStation 5. I'm going to be playing Call of Duty. And expect Call of Duty content to be back on uh, YouTube. I stopped it just purely because I didn't want to play the beta. Like... Like, really just burn out the beta. So then when the full game comes out, I'm like, well, I've been playing this game for like a month, two months now, boys. Like, it's not new. So I just didn't want to play it much. I wanted it to be fresh. So this Thursday, when I when it does come out, it's new. It's on the PS5, boys. And it's the next gen. And then I cannot wait for FIFA to be on um, <clears throat> the PS5 to see how it is. And yeah, really, really exciting times on the YouTube channel, boys. Now, that is it. That is the end of the Paul May Road to Glory, which means this is probably the last video to rewards. And then when rewards episode comes out on Friday, that'll be the last video to the following week, guys. We'll be having a little break of FIFA just for exam periods. This is why it's the people's Paul May Road to Glory. You know, things might come up in your life and you have to put FIFA aside for more important things. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And then we'll be back on the People's Poor Man Road to Glory. We'll be back on Call of Duty. Showing why we're the best in the country. And it's as simple as that, boys. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn that on that notification bell. Next gen gameplay is coming for both Call of Duty and FIFA. And as always, guys, remember, relax, have a euros, And I'll be back in the next video.